us Russians, and for me in particular, it is a matter of joy and pride to inaugurate tonight the festival of Russian culture in India. After the years of online living during the pandemic, we resume this, this wonderful yearly tradition, which has always been very popular in both our friendly countries. Over a week's time, our Indian friends will enjoy a number of brilliant performances spread across three metropolitan, metropolitan cities of New Delhi, Mumbai, and Kolkata as a tribute of our respect to one of the most ancient civilizations on earth. By all merits, the festival will be the most colorful manifestation of the 75th anniversary of Russia-India diplomatic relations which we celebrate this year. There is a popular saying in India, Dosti si zyada kuch bhi nahi hota. There is nothing more important uh, than friendship, a very precise characteristic of the trusted and friendly character of Russian-Indian strategic partnership. This mission of the festival is to increase our humanitarian ties through cultural events. It will give to all admirers of the Russian culture a unique opportunity to plunge into the wonderful world of Russia's dance and music by leading troops and artists of our country which is carefully preserved and promoted by, by the government and by the public in my country. It's an honor uh, to me to read out a welcome address uh, uh, by the Russian Minister of Culture, Ms. Olga Lubimova, on this occasion. I quote, Dear friends, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all at the Festival of Russian Culture that will cover three cities, New Delhi, Kolkata, and Mumbai, making our Indian friends familiar with the traditional and modern performance by the world-famous teams Les Ginka from the North Caucasian Republic of Dagestan, which will perform tonight, Terim Quartet from St. Petersburg, and the Cossack troupe Krinitsa from Kuban province of south of Russia representing traditions of different parts of Russia. Without exaggeration, this festival is a beautiful culmination of the 75th anniversary of Russia-India diplomatic relations, which we celebrate this year, marking unparalleled achievements in the whole gamut of areas for the benefit, well-being, and sustainable development of our nations. I wish you all high spirits, inspiration, and new achievements." Unquote. <laughs> Taking this opportunity, I would like to thank the Indian side, the Ministry of External Affairs and the Indian Council for Cultural Relations for proactive assistance in all arrangements of this festival. It is a befitting moment to recall the words of Maharishi Nicholas Rorik, the famous Russian artist and philosopher who made India his second home. India's heart is reaching for the infinite Russia. The great Indian magnet is attracting Russian hearts. How joyful it is to see vitality in Indian-Russian ties. There exists beauty in the Indian-Russian magnet. Dear friends, I congratulate you all and hope you will enjoy the feast. Apka hardik swagat. Jai Rus, Jai Hind.